don't put all your eggs or cookies in one basket. Advertisers and marketers have relied on cookies for tracking and personalization purposes for more than two decades. But it's not the only way for businesses to reach their target audience. Here, we'll explain how cookies work and discuss alternative methods for marketers as Google looks to ban third-party cookies by 2023. You can learn more about this cookie death by clicking the link above or in the description below. So what are cookies? Cookies are small amounts of data stored in a user's web browser. They can track if a user has visited a site before, remember login information, and track other user behavior. These cookies enable marketers and marketing platforms to deliver personalized targeted advertising to web users instead of a generic display ad. But with Google's third-party cookie ban looming, businesses need to explore alternative methods to get the right content in front of the right people. Here are some alternatives to consider. Zero-party data. This method is one in which users voluntarily provide information to a website or platform, and the user is very much aware of who has their information and what is being done with it. For example, a bookstore may ask customers to share information about their interests in their age group. This enables the business to put tailored content in front of those customers. Identity providers. Publishers and marketers typically work with ID providers, when a user visits a publishing or marketing site, they give permission to use their information. The publisher or marketer then shares that user's consent with the ID provider, which creates an ID for that user for ad targeting. Device fingerprinting. This method enables a site operator or marketer to collect information about a user's device or browser. While this method mimics the actions of third-party cookies, there is one difference. Cookies are stored client-side on a user's device, while device fingerprints are stored server-side in a database. Contextual targeting. Also known as contextual marketing, this approach relies on the context of the site a user is visiting. Instead of tracking customer data with cookies, this method matches advertisements with content instead of matching it with the user. For example, if a user is on a site searching for laptops, they will be shown ads about laptops. What are some methods that your business has adopted to provide personalized, targeted advertisements to internet users. Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button.